Hey guys, welcome to episode three of Cooking with Gian. I'm here today, as always, with my assistant, Mr. Baby G. Say hi. Okay, you want to go? All right. Oh, you want to stand? Okay. But anyways, today we're gonna be cooking butter chicken. First time ever making this. To be completely honest with you, I've never even had it, so I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, but hopefully whatever I make comes out good. Are you ready? Yeah. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. Do it. We're gonna start with some ginger garlic paste. Now, this is something you should be able to find at your local Indian grocer, maybe uh, Asian grocers as well, but at your regular American grocery store, probably not gonna run into it. Found a recipe online, real easy to make, so I'm using 55 grams of garlic, 55 grams of ginger and you see I didn't have to really chop up the ginger or the garlic because we're using our good friend the magic bullet aka whatever blender you have at your house. My mom likes to call it an osterizer because that was probably like the first brand that she had in Puerto Rico so instead of calling it a, a blender she calls it an osterizer. So we got an eighth of a cup of water in there by the way to, to lubricate obviously what we're doing here. And uh, watch in a second, guys. You're gonna see that I'm gonna start blending, and Baby G's gonna zoom right on over here to come and help. But what I tell you, look who's here. What a piece of junk! What is this? It's a piece of junk. It's a piece of junk. Big chunk of ginger there. No, this might do my turn. This is my turn. Oh, it's broken. Smell. It smells like... What? What does it smell like? It smells like... Smells like... Smells like this garlic is too... Or this ginger, excuse me, is too thick. It's too thick. Alright guys, so... Use a real blender. You're gonna break it, stop, stop, stop. Anyways, guys, you see what we got here? Got a nice paste. All right, next step up, we are gonna marinate our chicken. So the first thing we're gonna do is Get some chili powder in here. A tablespoon. What's it come out of that freaking container? All right, all right, and a little more. Just, just to be safe. All right, then we're gonna throw some of our fresh made ginger garlic paste in there. I feel like you can be pretty liberal with this stuff. I don't think it's gonna hurt it if you throw a little extra, a little extra garlic and ginger never hurt anybody. Baby G wants his salt to taste. Here. Alright, now let's stir it. Good job. And then we're gonna get up in here. Oh, I need a spoon. You need a spoon? You gonna get your own spoon? You better hurry. You better hurry or I'm gonna finish it. Get your own spoon. Oh, you want the big spoon. Oh, I thought you were gonna get a little spoon then. Alright, get in there. Good job. And then we're gonna cover this up and put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for like 30 minutes or so. Right? Yeah. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Tell the camera. 30 minutes. Looking at the mirror instead. <laughs> All right, so next up we're gonna work on our gravy. I'm gonna start with our onions. What I like about this is I don't really have to chop the crap out of the onions because this is going into the blender once it cooks down. Anyway, you see we got onions, we got tomatoes, we got cashews, got more of the ginger garlic paste. You just love it when your onions clump up like that. And don't want to separate. All right, so next up I'm gonna throw some butter in here. I mean, obviously it's called butter chicken for a reason. Well, I hope, <laughs> I hope that's the reason why it's called butter chicken. Cashews in there. Let this cook down for a few minutes. Got to get these tomatoes soft enough and get all the liquid out, right? It's amazing. You do a few of these recipes and you see like how similar a lot of our dishes are. Until you get to the spice section. I'm gonna, that's, that's when everything really changes is the seasoning. A lot of the same base ingredients. Obviously, you know, 
a lot of people's cuisine is based on what was available to their ancestors at the time as well. Over the years with globalization and whatnot, we've been able to get different kinds of ingredients that we weren't able to acquire before, so that's cool, but. All right, next step, we are gonna put our garlic chili paste in here. Delicious! Chili powder, I'm using regular chili powder, not cashmere, because I could not find it, so. Half a teaspoon of, of garam masala, a little more salt, vinegar, some water, a little sugar here. It says four tablespoons, I am not putting four tablespoons of sugar in there. My wife would not be happy with that. Let that simmer for a little bit until it is ready to blend, puree, osterize. And up that ice, everybody. Da mama. So obviously we got a lot of sauce to blend here. So I had to bring out the big boy. Probably should turn off the heat. For now we're gonna toss this guy in here. And of course I'm missing like crazy because so I'm pretending like this thing is too heavy for me. Nice red color. Always help yourself by cleaning down your cooking station as you go along. That way you don't have as big a mess at the end of the night. We have that left in the pan, that's fine. We're gonna save that for the chicken we're cooking next, but let's get this bad boy in here. One of me. This is your favorite part, huh? Yeah! Okay, well, blend away. Blend All right, good job. That's our gravy. You wanna look at it? Ooh, is it pretty? Mmm, tasty. You made that. Next up, we're gonna cook our chicken. Get a little more oil in there. All right, then we're gonna get our chicken in here. More of that marinade on there. Just, just for fun. What am I doing? I'm, I'm gonna be in too precise here. A little bit. We're gonna strain our sauce. Should we get those? excess little chunks out and try to get this as smooth as possible. Finally, we've really been working this out until all you have left is this kind of mush. You got your gravy. And now we're gonna do our final step. Where we're gonna add three tablespoons of cream. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> And the rest of the butter. Our puree. Finally, let's plate this thing. Chicken. As you can see, Plating is not my specialty, but, and voila. As you can see, my sous chef abandoned me. He's outside chasing squirrels or something. But uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Baby G. I did it. Whoa, look at your face. Mrs. G. Hey, what'd you guys think of the chicken? It was good. Did you like the chicken? Yeah. Two thumbs up? Thumbs up. Thank you.